He survived the war zone, but didn't escape the damage. Andrew Brewer came home from Iraq in 2010, but today he's dealing with the devastating effects caused by inhaling toxic smoke while he was serving. Then earlier this year, he got COVID-19. Our Liz Crawford talked with this hero about navigating the after effects of war and this pandemic. My whole entire life has changed, so I'm trying to make sure that I enjoy every little minute. Andrew Brewer spent 11 months and 11 days in Iraq. Every day presented a new danger. He said he didn't think much about the toxic smoke he inhaled every day. I never really thought about, oh, this is going to be damaging or it's going to hurt me later. I was just trying to get the mission done. Burn pits were used in Iraq and Afghanistan as a way to eliminate waste, like chemicals, ammunition, oil, and other items they needed to get rid of. Everything was thrown into a big hole in the ground, and you throw jet fuel on top, and you light it on fire, and you burn it. Within a few months of coming home, Brewer noticed he was having trouble breathing. He would get winded carrying his baby son across the house. Eventually, he was diagnosed with a chronic lung condition. When he was 30, Brewer said his doctor gave him 15 to 30 years to live. I remember having a conversation with my wife, and she was like, well, it's not your fault. I'm like, I know, but I'm still the one that volunteered to go. Every breath is a struggle. And then earlier this year, Brewer got COVID. Okay, well, this is not good. He uh, thinks he's recovered from COVID but is left navigating yet another respiratory burden. I adapt my daily life to it. So the additional of what COVID's uh, residual effects usually are, I haven't noticed any of them, but it could be there. Brewer believes he beat COVID so he can keep fighting for other veterans to get the care and benefits they need after burn pit exposure. I feel like there's a greater cause for me to be still fighting every day. There certainly is. Andrew, thank you so much from all of us here for your sacrifice in fighting for our freedoms. According to the VA website, 20,000 veterans in Florida have gotten COVID-19. And right now there's a bill going through Congress that could help veterans who've been exposed to toxic, toxic burn pits to get extra health benefits that they need. Here's a deeper dive into that bill. It would streamline the VA review process for veterans who have respiratory illness and cancers related to burn pits and airborne hazards. It would get rid of requiring proof that they were exposed to toxins during the time that they served. It would also give health care for as many as 3.5 million vets. Right now, more than 250,000 veterans have signed on to the VA's burn pit registry, but 70% of claims have been denied.